You see, only one end to your journey. Leaving is all I have to make you understand. You're not Batman anymore. We have to find another way. What if we brought Michael Keaton back, sir, to play an older Batman? And what if Jim Gordon's daughter became a superhero? She... she didn't. She could have. What if she had? What if she was Batgirl, sir, and ready to take your place? And what if we already filmed that movie, costing a hundred million dollars, sir? And what if... To spare you the pain, I shelved that movie. But I'm sorry. You're sorry. You expect to destroy my world. And then think that we're gonna shake hands. No. I know what this means. What does it mean? It means your hatred. It means losing the person I've cared for since I first heard his cries. There you go. Through this house. What do you expect me to do, sir? They've got Kevin Feige. Goodbye, Alfred. Who's Kevin Feige, sir? Who have we got? Who have we got, eh? What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and this is almost impossible to believe. $90 million is what DC is throwing away from a, quote, irredeemable Batgirl film. $90 million. And it is so bad, was so bad, that they decided to just eat it as opposed to put the movie out. Quote, irredeemable Batgirl movie gets shelved by Warner Brothers despite $70 million price tag, according to a new source. We now know this has been confirmed. Look, again, I'm not sure. I mean, Batgirl has her following and her place in, in comic book lore and in, um, you know, movie lore and, 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 and show wise. I don't know if I would have started out with a movie. It seems like DC just can't figure it out. I mean, at all. Uh, here's the story. Holy millions down the drain, Batman. The DC Comics film Batgirl will be completely shelved by Warner Brothers, a top Hollywood source has told The Post. Many have started to question now uh, what this means for The Flash. You know, Ezra Miller, obviously everything going on with him. What's going on with that? Uh, I think it's fair to say if they're going to cut bait more because... You know, Warner has some issues. Not only does this mean it won't hit theaters, which it was, I guess, intended to at one point, it won't even be put on HBO Max. Reportedly, the $70 million movie, the source said the budget was actually more than $100 million, was doing uh, test screenings for audience in anticipation of a late 2020 debut and would rank among the most expensive cinematic cast-offs in history. These tests were said to go so poorly, they were so poorly received by moviegoers that the studio decided to cut its losses and run for the sake of the brand's future. It's a DC disaster. Quote, they think an unspeakable Batgirl is going to be irredeemable. The post reached out to Warner Brothers for comment. It's been a months long walk of shame for the movie Batgirl directed by Adriel Alarbi and Bilal Falah from Bad Boys for Life received not a single mention at DC's Comic-Con panel in San Diego in July, an unusual move that raised industry eyebrows. The much publicized event, after all, is designed to boost exposure for the forthcoming projects just like this one. Marvel's Comic-Con presentation on the flip side announced more than a dozen films in the so-called Phase 5 and Phase 6 of the MCU, to be released in fall 2025 with even more surely in the hopper Batgirl, which stars leslie greats from in the heights uh in the title role alongside jk simmons and michael keaton and brendan Fage frazier was originally planned for an hbo max release exclusively the puck newsletter reported in april that wb's then chair tony emmerich was considering a theatrical run for the film too but he stepped down back in June due to his own production company to form it, I'm sorry. And not long after Warner Brothers merged with Discovery and David Zaslav became CEO of the new entity, he replaced Emmerich 
with MGM's Michael DeLuca, who likely had to deliver the bat news. When the film's co-directors have done, uh, while the film's co-directors have done some scattered interviews about casting, the studio had been mum on the plans for Batgirl ever since. Shelving a multi-million dollar project would not be unusual for Zaslav, a ruthless cost cutter. Remember, the same guy gave $300 million streaming service CNN Plus the cut just days after its splashy launch because it didn't snare enough subscribers. The budget's conscious CEO, according to Variety, has split WB into multiple segments, including a reorganized DC film production group. It's it's bad, uh, and you see Batgirl. Some of the some of the reactions, uh, heels with babyface rights. Batgirl cost seventy to hundred million dollars and was shelved from HBO Max with no chance of a theatrical release. Joker cost fifty million and made over a billion dollars at the cinema. Good juxtaposition there. Critical Drinker writes, "It's real. Batgirl's been shut down for good. I've never heard of a studio canceling a complete movie before." Um, here's Thomas Connors. If we, which I heard it's dead too, Batgirl is dead, then it's likely a sign of the Flash's fate too. And, you know, if you look at, obviously Batgirl was, as we, according to these, uh, reviews, Batgirl was just very bad. It was probably woke trash. Uh, but, um, we don't know that for sure. We just know that the test screenings were so horrendous that they just, there was nothing salvageable. Uh, but, the Flash is a completely different element. I mean, you have uh, a main character that is toxic beyond all recognition right now. We also have another movie uh, with another toxic person in Aquaman, not uh, not not the main actor, but one of the uh, the actress that plays Mara. There's also rumors right now that um, Miss A.H.'s role may actually be cut down to less than two minutes, which... Uh, I think, you know, if you leave her in at all, I think you're still going to get the same pushback, even if it's 10 seconds, but that's just me. Um, you see, if any disgruntled WB employees, wink, wink, have the MP4 of background movie, wink, wink, please do us all a favor and accidentally post it. You see neurotic writing, background shelved confirmed. Um, it's interesting. Uh, and, and people are saying, obviously, now we have the CW, the background movie, it appears to be, you know, Zazov is making the, the tough cuts. Marvel Studios, buckle up. We're releasing 73 movies next year. Sony, go see Morbius. Go see Morbius again. WB, Batgirl's canceled, by the way. I'm not sure how many people were really pumped for Batgirl because we didn't really know a whole heck of a lot about it. Uh, we know some of the, you know, obviously you have a strong independent whammon who don't need no man in the starring role. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot. You know, it's it's we don't really know anything. It could have been a good uh, movie, although clearly it wasn't. Uh, when you have this kind of test screening deadline, even Warner Brothers shelves backer with zero plans to release theatrical or on HBO Max. I feel bad for Brendan Fraser. Has he ever really found anything in his life since like a million years ago? Um, you see, if running WB into the ground is the fastest way for Zaslav to make the most amount of money, then that's what he'll do. Wow, WB's new mandate is more stupid than the previous. Gone before she even had a chance to say grace. Agreed. Notification guy running and thinking deep. Uh, in, uh, I'm saying nonfiction guy running it, thinking cheap reality shows. Holy waste of time and money, Batman. Uh, you know, again, WB's ran by morons. This person says shells Batman, but not Black Girl, but not Flash. Flash actors doing all sorts of bad things. Um, well, I would say that it's pretty clear at this point i think it, you're not making a huge leap of faith here to uh assume that the flash is next you see um the batman performed okay at the box office for warner Bros. netting 770 million with an r rating and good and got good notices however the only dc extended universe film that had managed to beat the one billion dollar box office gross of the dark knight which came out 14 long years ago uh joker with joaquin phoenix is not technically part of the extended universe was Aquaman. Meanwhile, Marvel's uh, lockdown era Spider-Man No Way Home grossed nearly two billion, and Doctor Strange also just shy of one billion. Lately, DC's nasty star drama has eclipsed the buzz, such as it is surrounding the movies. Ezra Miller, who plays Flash, has a long string of embarrassing controversies this year. In the spring, the actor was twice locked up, um, and all sorts of that kind of stuff. 
Um, ben Affleck, meanwhile, consistently claims he's done playing Batman, even going so far as to allow Robert Pattinson to take over the role in this year's Batman, but he keeps coming back like a bad slash ex-boyfriend. It's reported this week that Screen Rant, the actor, will appear yet again as Bruce Wayne in Aquaman, The Lost Kingdom, which seems perplexing. I agree, too. This is like, you know, fans need some level of continuity. They need to know what's going on, how things are going. Gal Gadot is said to be starring in Wonder Woman 3, but the actress and director Patty Jenkins has said absolutely nothing, including the title or release date. Beyond that, they're throwing around script ideas. DC's, which squanders legendary properties with abandon, appears to have no grand plan whatsoever. Soon, however, Wonder Woman won't be the only one holding the golden lasso anymore. Instead, power will be wielding by an all-controlling DC film production head who will attempt to turn things around before they arrive. Uh, ending uh, Batgirl was step one, and that's the end of DC as a hobby. This is the end of DC as a hobby, the source said. Look, I mean, I think it's not just a... Not 70 to 100 million dollars they threw away understand that they also had to spend another 70 80 90 million dollars to market the film so i think they they figured that well we're not going to make the money back marketing it that's just not happening so we need to just cut our losses here they'll write it off in the books as a loss and that's what it is but we didn't know much about the movie i can't say that it would have been woke trash I, I don't know that um i just think I, the idea of cramming a Batgirl film when, you know, Batgirl has made zero cameos um, and today's Gen Zers don't even know who Batgirl is seems really bizarre. You could see even Scott Mendelson writing, when everything is content, a mostly complete $90 million Batgirl movie is no less expendable than a $30 million Game of Thrones spinoff television pilot. You can see, I get the logic, but I'm bummed they couldn't figure out it away. I have nephews and nieces who are people of color on the LGBTQLMNOP spectrum, all of the above, and they just lost something that showed them on screen. Um, you know, why? So do, would you want to be represented in one of, like, the worst looking, you know, with some joke? Like some abomination is that what is that what you're so desperate for representation you'll take that that seems unlikely you know mendelssohn writes a lot and you know i think that it's it makes sense to cancel it uh not everything has to be from a representation i think you can also maybe consider making good movies i hope you enjoyed this video it's going to be interesting to see what the next domino to drop will be and we'll talk to you again real soon